hello everyone. My name is Mohammed. I'm a 17 years old entrepreneur from Morocco, and I founded Qaria. So Qaria is a real life peer to peer learning system. So basically, what we're aiming for is to bring people together, make them share their knowledge, pay people or share their knowledge with the others, and have students pay to acquire this knowledge. What we need the most right now is your brains. We're launching on the weekend of the 29th, 29th the Saturday 29th of May. And we really need your brains. We need students, we need teachers uh, who can share their knowledge together. So all we need is you people. Well, my answer to, the, to this question is gonna be separated into two parts. How I'm gonna change, change my world. I, I'm really, I'm one of Karia's early customers as well. So I'm really waiting for our lunch so that I can learn from others. And that's how I'm gonna change my world. The way I want to change the entire planet is to make people become more social, leave their computers and, you know, discuss with others who share the same interests, chit chat and share knowledge between each other so that we can create a collective knowledge, you know, have, have the planet have a collective brain. Well, my dream is one day to travel to, I don't know, somewhere really far, Laos, India, I don't know what, Australia, and find people sitting in a garden, you know, talking about this ad that's called Qarya, and, you know, chit-chatting with each other, sharing knowledge with each other. You know, I really want to see a Qarya course in one year or two in Australia, or I don't know, nowhere. Well, as I said before, my motivation is mainly personal. I want to use Qarya, and... I think uh, I've been learning that way since I was a kid and I think that it's the most effective way of learning and I really want people to discover it and I want people to, you know, not keep their information for themselves but share with each other. When you become an entrepreneur, you don't really have much time for your friends anymore. You start losing, well, you don't really lose friends but you start losing contact with some friends which is a bit hard seeing that I'm, a, you know, I'm still a kid. And yeah, that's what my friends think of me. They think that I changed, but I promise I didn't. I'd be doing a lot of stuff. Um, as a kid, I, was, uh, I, I always wanted to be a chef. You know, I uh, also wanted to be a poet for some time. I wanted to be a soccer player, but I discovered that I suck at soccer. Um, I wanted to be a singer as well. Might still do that if Kari fails. And, and I want to be a developer. I mean, if Kari fails, I might just join some other startup with whom I share the same vision in, as a developer, you know, and just help them their technical stuff. Uh, for me as a startup, seeing that I'm only 17, work is my lifestyle. Startup is my lifestyle. I wake up every morning at 6, work, 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 work. I don't know, have a few coffees through the day and then work again. It became my lifestyle for the past two months, I think. And yeah, that's work for me. I don't really need no work under any other image. It's a hard question. You can't really just say that this entrepreneur, well, he succeeded because he was lucky because that's, that's just being rude and, you know, treating him and considering him to be stupid. And you can't just say that it's talent because a lot of talented people failed before. And it's just, it's not just hard work because, you know, if hard work paid off, then mine workers would be billionaires. So it's a mixture of all, of all three factors. You know, it's chan, a bit of luck, you know, it might work for your side. It's a lot of hard work and it's a lot of talent, but it's also, you know, understanding how, how stuff works, understanding your clients, getting to know your clients, loving your product and, you know, putting a lot of hard work into it. Well, around here, people think that my biggest quality is that I'm a kid, which I find offensive, <laughs> but I don't know. I leave it to other people to judge myself. I don't really judge myself. The value that I appreciate the most, that I respect the most is, is, is acceptance. It is basically accepting each other for, and accepting others for whom they are. We can't really judge others seeing that I don't really like people judging myself. And I just want everyone to love everyone. 
and like everyone accepting for for who they are you know you can't really change people people are the way they are only the only thing we can do is accept it i would like to thank new york lab for pitch lab and inu as well for contributing in the organization of the event and giving us the the venue i think that new york lab is doing an amazing job in creating a, a startup a startup, a startup environment here in Morocco, uh, as well as Inui. They have sponsored so many events. They're they're always there to help us youngsters, and I, we really appreciate that. And I hope that they'll keep up the good work. Mm -hmm.